Ten prosecuted whistleblowers. Philip A.G. The officer called a meeting seemingly impromptu right on the metal floor of the U.S. Navy ship. I don't know why he chose the middle of the hallway, not that it mattered. We sat down in a circle cross-legged. I later learned that the officer advanced up through the ranks, first enlisting as a seaman. Whenever he held inspections of the enlistees, I could not help noticing that his pudgy face seemed overshaved. Daniel Ellsberg. Some of us were accompanied by girlfriends, some by whores. The lieutenant immediately asked, Well, men, we have to operate as a team, follow orders, stick together, no matter what. Don't you agree? I don't know why he even asked us. He could merely have told us, issued a command. I looked around at the other men, some of whom agreed. Julian Assange As I thought back to this event years later, I was reminded of my life in Italy, living as a child in an orphanage run by kind Silesian nuns whose mission was to take care of lost children, and who infused us with an elevated morality, I now think, where telling the truth had rewards and being kind was taught by example. Jeremy Hammond So, as I sat on the gray floor, the lieutenant looked at me pointedly as if waiting for me to complete the circle of agreement. Looking at my girlfriend and back at him, I weakly uttered an emphatic no, saying nothing more, but I felt as if I were disobeying a direct order. Thomas Drake. My disagreement came out of me automatically. I couldn't cite even one example for when not following orders as a team would not be okay. It was how I was. John Kiriako. I felt a poke at my side. It came from my temporary companion, her face expressing astonishment at having broken the black magic. As I think back on her, I know that she knew the political score, that this was how strict hierarchy worked, the group discipline on command, following orders, and control from the top. Jeffrey Sterling. And then, three years ago, Occupy Wall Street introduced me to disparities promoted by normal U.S. fascists in and out of government. Aaron Swartz. Occupy Riverside exposed me to the meaning of a horizontal democracy, to crimes and shenanigans perpetrated by the unaccountable U.S. government officials and I started thinking about who the government is not punishing for telling the lie. Chelsea Manning and who it's punishing for telling the truth and which individuals inform me more than my democracy did. Chelsea Manning became prominent, then Edward Snowden, than others. So I compiled a list of whistleblowers and made the 10 prosecuted whistleblowers series. Edward Snowden. So when I now look forward to what my next series of artworks will be, I ask these questions. What are the primary ideas bubbling up behind this? What of myself do I bring to the project? Can I make a significant, positive contribution to society with it? 
If I can't, and if I can't make the ideas my own, I don't do it. That philosophy comes directly from my upbringing in that orphanage.